Dynojet Power Vision 3, which will flash the ECU on my MT-09 and also hold custom maps. Uh, so no need to send the ECU off to get flashed. This will do it. And I do have a link to this product in the description and comment section of this video. Okay, let's see what we get with this kit. This is my very first time opening this. Nice. Check it out. Just to let you guys know that you can download custom maps to this Power Vision 3. Uh, you can fine tune maps on here. Um, you can reset the ECU to its stock settings, which is absolutely awesome. Um, and what I'm gonna do today is actually flash tune this bike to a map that's specific for the full Akrapovich exhaust uh, with the stock air intake. Um, by the way, you can also clear uh, engine trouble codes with this as well. And in the future, it will have Bluetooth features as well. And also you can mount this on your bike and use it as a diagnostic tool. And there's a lot of other stuff you can do with it as well. But today we're just gonna do the basics and flash the ECU on my bike. Also, I'm gonna give a new review on this MT-09 now that it's modded. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today make sure to visit cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through this video is for entertainment purposes only please refer to the product manual for all instructions make sure to check out my previous video how to install the akrapovich full exhaust system on the mt09 okay first step is we got to go ahead and remove the seat and we gotta find the diagnostic port. That's what we're gonna be plugging into. Okay, here's the diagnostic port that we need. So it comes right out there. Then we need to take the cap off. It comes right off, bam. All right. Bam. Okay, now we'll turn the bike on. Check this out. It already powers up. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the bike on. All right, here we go. Ready to flash. All required files found. That's what we want to see. Okay, and the tune that I, the map that I want, which I looked on the website, is 2201116, is, which is for the full Akrapovich exhaust system and the stock intake. Uh, it's not on here. Okay, so that means I'm gonna have to download it to the device. So I went ahead and plugged the device in the USB port, which it'll recognize it as like a memory stick. Okay, we need to download the proper map. So we're gonna go ahead and download that. Okay, I incurred a problem downloading the tune. As you see here, it gives instructions. It says that when you plug the Power Vision 3 into your bike, it should download a vehicle identification file, and you'll need this file in order to download the tune online, which my Power Vision 3 did not have this updated vehicle identification file. So what I had to do is go ahead and email technical support and I asked them to send me the tune file via email. So this is the response I got from the technical support agent. It says that actually this tune is incompatible with my bike's ECU. So he sent me the proper tune and I went ahead and downloaded this tune onto my Power Vision 3. So now we're all set. Okay, this is full crop of edge exhaust as it shows here. Okay, raise rev limit plus 300. Disable decel fuel cut. Disabled speed limiter. I'm just gonna go ahead and flash this. All right. Okay, now the instructions say turn the key off and wait 45 seconds before turning the key back on to start. This one says key cycle twice and wait 20 seconds in between. And okay, turn it back on. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Now hopefully everything's okay. The engine light came on. We need to 
take that off. Actually, it's normal for the engine light to come on when you flash the ECU, and it's very easy to remove with this Power Vision 3. My review of the DinoJet PowerVision 3. I really love this device because you know what? I don't have to take the ECU off the bike, mail it in, and not be able to use my bike for a period of time. And then when I get the ECU, put it back on the bike. And then if I get an engine check light, I have to buy another device to remove that. You know what? This DinoJet PowerVision 3 takes care of everything for me and very easy. All I have to do is plug it into the diagnostic port and it flashes the ECU in minutes. And then if I get the check engine light, I easily remove it with this device in a second. Awesome. I really love that. The only thing is, I got frustrated because the tune was not on the device already and I had to email tech support which cost me a day. Not that big of a deal. Hey, if you want to get the Power Vision 3, I included the link in the description and comment section of this video. Hey, now that the bike is fully modded with a flash ECU and full Akrapovich exhaust, let's test it and see if it made a difference in power. I'm going to do a review on this bike now that it's modded. A lot of you guys said it's not fair to review the bike in stock form because it's not the best. It's good, but not the best. Okay, so let's see how this bike really is. First off, for those of you guys who want to get my ultra lightweight carbon helmet with auto tint shield, a motor vlog camera, my Sedici garter jack, a airbag vest to keep you safe, shorty gloves, I have links to all my gear in the description and comment section of my video. <laughs> Oh, that sounds good. Let's see if it rides as good as it sounds. Okay, off the line, guys. Off the line. Here we go. Oh, my God. Woo! <laughs> this is a totally different bike, guys. Oh my gosh, off the line. It's on par with the Liter bikes, guys. Oh my goodness, you guys were right, man. <laughs> Woo! Oh my goodness. Oh no! <laughs> Woo! And that's with traction control on, guys. That's in mode A. Oh my goodness. All right, let's take traction control off. Okay. And let's put it in mode, standard mode. Okay. A lot of you guys at Cycle Cruise, you need to do, you need to do standard mode. Okay. Oh, no. oh, 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 <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I don't like that D-cell pop. It's kind of irritating, man, but oh, my goodness. <laughs> this thing is sick now, dude. Oh, 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 now it pulls harder than my 450, man. Now it pulls harder, guys. We got it. <laughs> Hold on for dear life. Oh my goodness, I like that, I love it. Now it's violent. I like the violent feel, guys. That's why I love my 2019 YZ450 FX Supermoto. Oh, it's got that violent throttle. Now this is more violent. Oh my goodness, what a flat. Oh my gosh, what a change. Oh my goodness. So when you get this bike, guys, you definitely have to get a full exhaust and flash the ECU. And it has a proper map too, by the way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love that power flash too, where I can uh, flash the ECU myself and save money. Oh my! <laughs> oh my goodness. 
That is 100% legit, guys. <laughs> we got a new bike on our hands, guys. I can't, I can't say this is my cruiser anymore, man. <laughs> it can, I mean, it still could be my cruiser, but it's a proper sport bike now, guys. Oh my gosh. So in stock form, it's really corked up. This is a completely different bike, guys. Completely different. Completely different. I, the only thing I have to do now is adjust the suspension for my weight and see how it is before I think about adding a rear Olin's shock. Um, the front fork is fine, by the way, um, but still needs to be adjusted for my weight, though. I weigh about a buck seventy-five, by the way, and about six foot one. So. Just to let you guys know, this bike is uber comfortable, man. Uber comfortable. Okay, now let's get on the highway and let's see because the problem I had also was the top end was weak when I rolled, did a roll on and, and fourth, fifth, and sixth gear. Fifth gear was the best. Oh. <laughs> Woo! It pulls, baby. I love this bike now. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, so we're in fourth gear, guys. Fourth gear. Okay, let's let's do a pass here. All right, let's do a pass. Oh, that's better. That's that's fourth gear though. All right, make sure there's no cops behind me or anything, man. Okay, now let's go to fifth gear. Fifth gear, roll on. Now I'm giving it the full beans, guys. This is the full wide open throttle. Okay. Let's do it. Ah, oh, it's better. It's better, guys. <laughs> it's better, man. Oh my god, this thing is running. Oh my not quite obviously as powerful as that 2017 Aprilia Tuano V4 1100 factory that I own. Hyper boost on! Ah! <laughs> But that it has like 175 horsepower, man, and 90 pounds feet of torque. This has only got like, what, 115 horsepower or something and uh, whatever pounds feet of torque. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty legit. Let's see six gear. I doubt if six gear will do anything. No, six gear is better than it was. I'll tell you that, guys. It's better than it was. So fifth gear is still the proper gear to pass on the highway. And, uh... Okay, let's get over here. And six gear is much better than it was, man. Okay, fifth gear. Fifth gear roll on, full wide open throttle. Full wide open throttle. I mean, it's no Aprilia Tuono. You know what I'm saying? But it's way better, guys. It's way, it's proper now. It's proper, it's legit. I like it. <laughs> this thing is an absolute monster off the line, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Fifth gear, full wide open throttle. Not bad, not bad. It's good, it's good. It's a lot better. <laughs> yeah, it's proper, man, it's proper. All right, I'm not doing any max speeds because I've, there's probably some cops out here, man. I don't wanna get busted doing over 100. <laughs> I already got out of my last big ticket. Yo, I like this bike. And I don't understand you guys that whine about the wind. Dude, there's no wind problems. I don't even have a windscreen on this bike. There's no wind problems. I'm doing here. 80 miles an hour, nothing. There's, the wind is fine. I don't understand, man, why you guys cry about that. Okay, here we go, fifth. Yeah, yeah, it's better, yeah, it's good. <laughs> this bike is night and day different than stock, guys. Night and day. <laughs> I love it. It's so darn comfortable too, man. Like I said, this could be your cruiser because it's so comfortable. The legs aren't jacked up in the back like the Priya Tuano or in other sport bikes. And uh, so that your knees are at a nice bend, it's comfortable. The bars are upright. You know, you're in a full upright seating position. The wind isn't killing me, like some of you guys whine about, like I said. 
Oh man, this is legit, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness, uh, this is legit. <laughs> thumbs up, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs way up. Totally different bike. This, I, I'll have to say, this is probably the most transformed bike from stock to modded that I've ever had. I've never felt such a big whopper difference, man. This is completely different bike now. Oh, and it sounds proper too, guys. It sounds legit. <laughs> I love it, man. Oh, just listen to that triple cylinder sound, guys. <laughs> That's legit. And the throttle, by the way, the throttle is better. The throttle is much better. Right. Oh, that front wheel comes up hard now. <laughs> I hate that diesel pop, though, man. That's annoying. Yeah, the throttle is much better, man. It's not as on-off as it was. It's it's a lot better. I wouldn't say it's as as good the, as the Ducati XT Avail. Um, that one was like almost perfect for ride-by-wire throttle. The Aprilia, it was a, it was good, but it wasn't as good as the XT Avail. This is, I don't know, man. This it's a lot better. I'll just put it that way. It's a, it's not annoying anymore. It's legit. I I can rock with this. This is a legit bike now, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Woo! Oh my goodness. Look at this. Ah! We got a proper bike. Oh my goodness. Look at that. And I even love this because I can put my tripod on this little strap on this banana seat. <laughs> I like that. I got another seat coming, by the way. Should be coming. I'm um, getting rid of these sap suckers. And of course, I got to put the license plate light. I love that low profile uh, fender eliminator, which, by the way, I have a link to in the description and comment section of this video. Like I said, links to all the stuff, all the mods that I do on this bike, and all the mods that I did on my other bikes. If you go to my website, cyclecruiser.com, and click on my mods, that's links to all the mods I've ever done on any of my bikes. So you don't have to ask. You just go to my website, the link's there for you guys. Uh, along with my gear, all of my gear I rock with, this bike is legit. $9,000 out the door, stock. Just added a full exhaust. And it's not that, it, the full exhaust isn't really that expensive for this bike either, considering, compared to the other bikes. Shoot, the XD Avail, a full Termoni exhaust was like uh, over $3,000, man. This is like what 7 750 or 800 or something like that. That's nothing. Hey guys, leave a comment below. What do you guys think now? Does this bike sound legit or what, man? Does it seem faster in the video? Leave a comment below. Let's talk about it, man. I am really happy with this bike. Thank you viewers for recommending this bike and telling me that I had to mod it because whoo, it is a beast now. I don't understand why people would even want an MT-10, man, when you got as much power as this bike has now. If you do a lot of highway riding and you really want that quick throttle, super fast on the highway, of course, you probably want the MT-10. But this thing is fine on the highway. It's legit now, man. Uh, but, whoa, in the city, off the line, oh, my goodness, this thing's a monster. Oh, my goodness. And that's where most people spend most of their time anyhow. But anyways, leave that comment. Let's talk about it. Don't forget to subscribe to my All of a Motorcycle channel. And also, go check out my other channel and subscribe to it. Bug Out Moto. Who says? Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.